Alright, so what the Chaos Piper deck is all about, um, using Mystic Piper's effect with a deck that has half of its monsters comprising of level 1 monsters with really good effects. That way you can use its second effect to draw an extra card and pretty much just abusing Mystic Piper's effect with the level 1 spirit monster to draw a crap ton of cards and gain hand advantage over your opponent to use the Tragodia to boost his attack to high levels or just to use discard cards like Phoenix Windblast and while at the same time filling your grave up with light and dark monsters so that you can use twilight cards like Chaos Sorcerer and Black Luster Soldier and with the hand advantage you also use Symphionic Warrior ba Bases I think that's how you say it because you can increase this card's level by the amount of cards you have in your hand and you can go for some pretty high level synchro monsters and yeah, so I'll go through the deck. There's two Tragodias, one BLS, one Gortz, double Light Pulsar, one Chaos Sorcerer, one Aratama, double Mech Lord Emperor Weasel, triple Symphionic Warrior Base, uh, triple Level 1 Spirit Monster, triple Evil Thorn, double DD Crow, one Chaos Necromancer, triple Mystic Piper, triple Battle Fader, triple Evact Veiler, one Allure, one one for one, one Mind Control, double MST, one Torrental, double Phoenix Wind Blast, one Compulse, one Star Eater, one Leo, one Gigantic Castle, one Jewel Red Dragon Archifine, one Black Rose Dragon, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Vulcan the Divine, one Ally of Justice, one Mistbird Colossus, Formula Synchron, one Constellar M7, double Dulahan, double Slacker Magician. Okay, so the reason we have Ancient Fairy Dragon and Jeweled Red Dragon Archifine, well, that's the only level 8 Synchro Monster in here, is because when Light Pulsar is destroyed, you can special summon a level 5 or higher Dark Type Monster. I mean, Dark Type, Dragon Type. So, if you're lucky and you have this card out, and you have either Ancient Fairy Dragon or Jeweled Red Dragon, since this card doesn't run uh, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, because it, there's that'd be kind of stupid since you only have these two dragons in the main deck. You can bring these two cards out since it's decked a Synchro Summon quite often with Symphionic Warrior Base and Tragodia being able to copy any level in the grave. Plus it's already level 10, so you can use Tragodia plus a Vectvillar to go into a Star Eater. And Star Eater is awesome. Um, so is BLS. Get out BLS, you can probably win the duel with this card alone. Chaos Sorcerer is just annoying, but... Um... I Mech Lord Emperor Weasel. This card's in here because he's level 1. That's pretty much it. Uh, when a card on your side of the field, it has to be face up, is destroyed, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you can negate a spell card your opponent uses. That effect is awesome. He has 2500 attack. He can also equip one of your opponent's synchro monsters to him, and he gains attack equal to that monster's attack. But your other monsters can't attack. That's a pretty bad drawback. But his effect of special summon himself out when a card's destroyed and gaining one spell card a turn is pretty good. Really good, in fact, that I put him in here because he's a dark type as well, so he adds the chaos effect. Aratama's in here to search out this guy. Evil Thorn is in here to thin out the deck a little bit and go for either a Sinet Magician or a Dulahan. Dulahan's not really as great in this deck since there's no ghost tricks. But I do have a ghost trick version of this deck that actually works just as well as this one. But it's a lot slower. And I think that's it.